I have terrible news, Commander. Professor Einstein has been captured. We believe Yuri plans to force him to help improve the Psychic Dominator technology. With the Professor's help, Yuri could finish the Psychic Dominator network even sooner. We cannot let that happen! Incoming transmission. Help me across the river, Commander, and I'll make your life a whole lot easier. Snatch the good doctor from Yuri's goons, and be out of there before they even know what hit him. Commander! You will be pleased to know that my work for the enemy was not totally without some benefit. I have sabotaged the Psychic Dominator! Yeah, you can use it against Yuri's forces. However, it will most likely blow up after the first time you use it! Espionage, you see, it is not my vocation. Gentlemen, our spy satellites are spotted in a huge laboratory facility in Australia. Now, this has got to be where Yuri has his cloning operation. Intel's gotten wind of his plans. He intends to kidnap key allied leaders and replace them with clones. Commander, some of our best operatives gave their lives to get this information. Let's make that sacrifice mean something. Take out that lab! Good news and bad news, Commander. The outcome of the war wasn't changed. The Soviets have surrendered. The bad news is, Yuri's still at large. The world leaders aren't taking any chances. They're meeting at a classified location to sign the treaty with the Soviets. Per the General's orders, restrict... Good day, Lieutenant. Where is this top secret meeting of world leaders? I... I can't... Tell me. London... London, England. Parliament building. What the blazes is going on? We've got an unauthorized transmission. Cut the satellite link. Well, blow it to kingdom come if you have to! Out of the frying pan into the fire. Since he can't clone the Allied leaders, he's bound to try a more direct approach. They're meeting in London right now to ratify the treaty with the Soviets. Get to London ASAP, Commander. And you, get a medic out to the Lieutenant. Incoming transmission. This is a very important meeting, Commander. If this treaty is ratified, the Soviet forces will join us in the battle against Yuri. Incoming transmission. You cannot win, Commander. Soon the full Romanov will be dead, and the Allied leaders will be under my control. Soon you will beg for my mercy and forgiveness. Perhaps you will live as a mindless slave. This might amuse me. Commander, I failed you. I put the whole operation in jeopardy when I told Yuri that the world leaders were meeting in London. As of this moment, I'm tending my resignation. Oh, gosh! You're a vital part of this team, Lieutenant. If you think you're the only officer ever to have his brain twisted by that maniac, you're free to leave. Otherwise, I won't hear any more foolishness about resignations. Are you with us? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, let's concentrate on finding this madman before he can do any more damage. General, I think I have something. Well, let's hear it. I've been triangulating Yuri's transmission, sir. I believe I've tracked his location. Good to have you back, Lieutenant. Well, I'll be dipped in molasses. He's holed up in the Antarctic. Okay, this is it, Commander. The whole enchilada. Prepare to move out. Incoming transmission. Our forces will deploy at Tierra del Fuego, at the southernmost tip of South America. Incoming transmission. I have a surprise for you, Commander.
Conrad General. A new device called Genetic Mutator. You've met my brutes on the battlefield? With this device, I can convert any of your pathetic infantry into a loyal brute. Loyal to me, that is. <laughs> We've got a nice, safe spot for him to live out his days. Professor Einstein calls it a psychic isolation chamber. <laughs> Thanks to you, Commander, he won't be able to mind control a fly. What the heck's going on? We're picking up a time distortion wave, General. It is the two timelines, Lieutenant. They are merging. One series of events must take precedence over the other. Timelines merging in three, two, one. We are now at DEFCON 2. What the devil is going on, Lieutenant? He surfaced, Mr. President. How you been, Mr. President? General Carville. How? Did you ever hear of time travel, sir? What do you think? The president's having a victory bash at the White House tonight, so I thought maybe you might. You coming, Commander? That wasn't supposed to happen. Professor! Doc! Yeah, you still have that time machine, right? Good. Could you send me back in time like, two hours? I don't think you got your timeline straight. Catch you on the replay?